Did you know that the Toledo Zoo is home to more than 10,000 individual animals representing over 720 species? You can travel the world when you visit and while they're closed, you can still look in on them. We're pleased to have the zoo's director, Jeff Saylor, with us to tell us all about how you can see. Good morning, Jeff. Morning, how are you? Very well, thank you for joining us. So the Toledo Zoo, obviously a very popular attraction for visitors from Ohio and other parts of the country. If someone hasn't paid you a visit yet, what can they expect when you're open again? You know, the zoo is a really cool uh, park. Uh, it's on about 65 acres, but the nice thing is, is you don't travel very far between the exhibits. It's pretty easy to, to bring young children and, and not have them wear out too quickly. Uh, it makes for a pretty pleasant experience and there's a lot of really really interesting animals and beautiful exhibits to see a lot of opportunities for uh, hands-on interactions with different kinds of uh, learning opportunities and <clears throat> things for the kids to play on like playgrounds and splash pads uh, it's it's really uh, a park that can meet just about any need you've got wow and in the meantime you actually have virtual education work for kids what is that all about yeah, so we have a pretty extensive education department and we wanted to continue to reach out and achieve our mission. Uh, and part of that is educating people about wildlife and getting people excited about wildlife and wild places. And so our education department has been working really hard to provide uh, classroom exercises for kids who are home from school but still need to, to be learning, uh, providing great uh, opportunities for families to watch some of our Facebook live feeds and learn more about the animals and the, and the people who are taking care of them. So it's a creative way at how we can turn the zoo into a virtual experience uh, in this time when people are, are sequestered at home. Absolutely, and what are some of the animals that they can see? Any new ones, what can they expect? Yeah, we are, uh, we're showing a lot of the animals right now that you can get up close and personal to, but uh, that could be anything from, I saw earlier today, they, uh, they were talking about tortoises, and I think <laughs> a couple weeks ago, they were actually uh, giving the elephants baths. So uh, we had our staff there right with the keepers while they were bathing the elephants and people at home could, could watch and tune in and ask questions. It was really a lot of fun. I could watch elephants bathe probably for 20 hours straight. It's the cutest thing in the world. Now, speaking of cute, have you had any babies born within the past few weeks? Yeah, we had a, a monkey born the other day. Um, and of course, uh, we've, we've got a full veterinary staff, which was very helpful because this little baby was uh, extremely large and she had to come into this world through cesarean section. And so she's still being cared for right now with the vet staff and her mother. And hopefully by the time we open back up, uh, the public will be able to see her on display with her mother. Wow. And you mentioned obviously your veterinary team and everyone you have to still take care of these animals because unlike businesses, animals still need help. So how can people help you out? What ways can they donate and reach out to you? Well, we have a lot of opportunities on our website where you can donate to support various initiatives at the zoo. Uh, our Facebook live feeds give you the opportunity to, to donate to our mission there, and especially if you're enjoying uh, the educational opportunities that we're providing, we would encourage you to consider uh, giving what you can. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can help out. Probably the, the most impactful way is to become a member of the zoo. And that allows us to continue to reach out to you, to communicate with you, uh, to make sure that you're up on everything we're doing and knowing that your membership means more. You're helping with conservation of animals and with the care of these animals while uh, we're in a closed situation. Well, Jeff, I look forward to visiting the zoo when you guys open back up. And thank you for all you're doing to let people get an inside look at the animals. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to talk to everyone. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe. As Jeff said, you can visit the Toledo Zoo at ToledoZoo.org to see all those educational and virtual experiences and donate to help them out.